Hi all, today we are going to showcase the Yamatai Tavern set from the Bazaar. If it's not available now, it might be back again in the future. That could be at a discounted cost, items being sold separately or even in combination with other items. So what's included with the Yamatai Tavern set? The current bundle includes 9 items, including a Yamatai themed bar counter alternative. Except for the bar counter and hearth, which are craftable using the construction hammer, all other items are crafted at an artisan table. As of December 2023, the bundle costs 2,457 chrome coins. By the way, and as always with bazaar items, once purchased you can find the recipes under your ancestral knowledge category. Let's look at the items in more detail. Now this tavern set was one we were looking forward to as it looked awesome on the teasers Funcom provided. But as it stands, we need to first talk about the elephant in the room. As a tavern set, it's fair to say that it's closely tied to the newly released tavern system, which means with a barkeeper in place, your tavern will see many guests arrive. Now the bar counter itself, perfect. It works, guests arrive and find a seat. But did you notice that there are no guests at our tables at all? Well, it turns out while the new Yamatai floor pillow can be located under seating in the build menu in creative mode, it's non-functional. There is no interaction with it as to sit, nor is it recognized as seating for NPCs, which kind of spoils the experience. Now we hope and believe this will be fixed, but the discovery was a bit of a bummer. So, let's start with the bar counter. It's lovely for sure, but personally we had expected a lot more decorations, especially Japanese style drinkware and similar. In comparison, the Vanir bar counter from the Battle Pass feels a lot more detailed, featuring several more unique elements, including a small hidey hole for the beer cup, which will hopefully be made functional in the future. We also found the construction a bit weird. Like the fact that this large storage jar and base go further back than the bar shelf, so you can't place the full unit flush with a wall. Well, we can if we accept the items clipping into the wall, so it works, but could easily have looked a lot better if done differently. The top of the shelving unit is also slightly curved, which looks great, but when placing items on it, it causes them to float. Then there's also some major empty space we can't use. Now to be fair, the original bar counter has the same issue. We would have loved the option to use this large space under the counter, as well as this space below here, but it's sadly not made that way. Up next, the bar stool. It's of the same type that's used for the tavern bar counter, but standalone. It's great to have a tall stool for sure, and in particular useful if you have the tavern placeables that came with the Derketo DLC. The Yamatai table is a low profile table, and while simple, it fits the overall set very well. Now back to the floor pillow. As mentioned, there is a clear issue with this item not functioning as seating right now. Presumably a bug that will be resolved. That aside, we like them. Also note that by default we only have the basic sit emote, which works. Though the more appropriate emotes would be something like cross-legged sit, or the emote we use here, the kneeling sit, but both are bazaar items. It's a bit weird that these emotes were not included with the bundle, though when the issue is resolved, maybe interaction with these pillows will trigger emotes, well time will tell. Note that you can't place these pillows very close to these tables at least, likely as to give room for the animation and character to sit without clipping into something, though it really needs to be closer than this in our eyes. Now to complete the look of the table and pillows, there's this great new carpet. We believe the best orientation is when used like this as it provides nice room for the pillow seating. While if turned the other way like we did in our small tavern, the pillows hit the edges of the carpet. The Yamatai hearth is a functional crafting station. It counts as a campfire and offers 20 item slots. You can place a cook there, 
though sadly we can't dress that NPC properly. Before the new NPC assignment feature hopefully also makes it to crafting stations. Good news here is that it is possible to place some decorations on the wooden edge, as well as within the pit itself, like a cauldron. The lantern feels appropriate and looks quite cute. It's drawing a soft warm light as seen, and it's not too strong. When turned off, it still looks on, though it's not drawing any light. We're not sure if that's intended or not. Next up, some nicely themed wall decoration, which is always welcome. It's wider than one foundation, and unfortunately, it's another item that seems to have a bug in relation to placement. There's always been something wrong in Conan Exiles with walls and wall deco, as in wall deco being slightly more or less flush, depending on the direction of the wall. Though you will find that this decorative painting currently does not work on one side of your building. And finally the bonsai tree, another deco item that fits the theme well. We're a bit confused about the look though, as we're not a fan of the mossy looking canopy. There are some details here, but we'd much prefer a more leafy look, and judging from the level of detail on some of the other plants, that could have been done easily. We hope you enjoyed this showcase, and we would like to thank Funcom for providing us with these items for free. We hope we could answer all your questions, if not, feel free to leave a comment below. We also appreciate a thumbs up, and if you could subscribe, that would be awesome.